I'm Sandy McVeigh. Welcome to Microsoft Word 2010 Mail Merge Double Sided Name. It's helpful to have their name visible on both sides of a name tent or dining card. This sample uses Avery's medium tent card stock of 5305, but you could modify and apply it to any stock that you'd like. So this is just gives you an idea of where we're heading with this. It is uh, the double sided name card stock and it's going to have each name repeated on both sides of the card. So I'm just going to open a new Word document and it's a blank dot. I'm going to go to Page Layout and change the orientation to Landscape. The reason I'm doing this is because Word does a good job of flipping text on its side, but it can't flip it upside down. So we need to accommodate for that. We're also going to change the margins to 0.5 from the top and 0.25 from the bottom. We'll leave the left and right at an inch and click OK. Now we're going to insert a table and this is going to be a, a one row table with four columns. We're going to go to the layout under table tools and we're going to make the row height 7.5 inches and the column width 2.4 inches. And I also want to remove the lines and borders around my name tents so they don't distract me. I'm going to just select the entire table, go to the design, and remove the borders. So now I want to begin my mail merge. And I'll go to mailings, start mail merge, and choose labels. As you recall from the previous video, the update labels here is gray right now. I'm not going to use any of the Avery labels because I'm using a custom table I made myself, so I can click cancel. But now update labels is available. And that's going to be very important in a little bit. So I'm going to use an existing list. And I'm going to choose the database file and the people sheet. Let's edit our recipient list and take a look at this. So we have their name, their phone number, the department. This time I want to sort by department. Maybe instead of by last name. You want everyone to be grouped together. So that's how I would like to generate these tents. I'm going to insert the merge fields up first and last in department. That's all we need. This is very tiny and going in the wrong direction. So first I'm going to highlight these fields, go to the home ribbon, and format it as I would any other text. And I will put a space between those two fields and a return between first uh, between last and department. And maybe I even want to add some color. So I can do that. Okay, but the text is still going in the wrong direction. So I'm going to highlight these fields and go to the layout under table tools and click text direction. And you'll see it flips it the way we want it to go. And I can center it as such. Okay, so let's go back to our mailings and preview the results and you'll see our first return. So that looks pretty good. But I need to have this person's name repeated here going in the other direction and then the other labels as well. So I'm going to click update labels and you can see when we preview the results that it doesn't look grand. I'm going to take off the preview just so you can get comfortable with the field. So I'm going to highlight this next record field, go to the layout, click text direction until it's going the way I want, and center it. And then for some reason it has lost my width of 2 inches, 2.4 inches, so I'm going to put that back. And then this one, 
We'll just flip the text direction the way we want it. And this one also lost its formatting size, but that's okay. That's easy to fix. And we want that to flip in this direction. And then, once again, final adjustment, 2.4. So now, let's just go back to the preview again and take a look. And you can see what happens is that the name switches for each cell. And that's not what we want. We want to repeat this name and then have Cinderella come here and repeat her name there. So what is driving this? And that would be this next record field. So if I remove the next record field from this cell and from this cell, and preview the results now, you'll see exactly what we want. This is exactly how we want them to be. Again, you can change the sizing, the coloring, any way you want. But we are ready to finish and merge, so we will edit individual documents. We click OK. It looks at our database. And now we have tents ready to go to our printer. And thanks for taking time out of your day to watch this video. My name is Sandy McVeigh, and you can find more helpful information at my site, www.tinyurl.com slash smcvay.